The Blue Umbrella by Ruskin Bond Chapter 5 Binia was in the forest glade where she had first seen the umbrella. No one came there for picnics during the monsoon. The grass was always wet and the pine needles were slippery underfoot. The tall trees shut out the light and poisonous-looking mushrooms, orange and purple, sprang up everywhere. But it was a good place for porcupines who seemed to like the mushrooms, and Binia was searching for porcupine kills. The hill people didn't think much of porcupine kills, but far away in southern India, the kills were valued as charms and sold at a rupee each. So Ram Bharusa paid a tenth of a rupee for each keel brought to him and he in turn sold the kills at a profit to a trader from the plains. Binia had already found five kills and she knew there'd be more in the long grass. For once she had put her umbrella down. She had to put it aside if she was to search the ground thoroughly. It was Raja Ram's chance. He had been following Binia for some time, concealing himself behind trees and rocks, creeping closer whenever she became absorbed in her search. He was anxious that she should not see him and be able to recognize him later. He waited until Binia had wandered some distance from the umbrella. Then running forward at a crouch, he seized the open umbrella and dashed off with it. But Raja Ram had very big feet. Binia heard his heavy footsteps and turned just in tune to see him as he disappeared between the trees. She cried out, dropped the porcupine kills and gave chase. Binia was swift and sure-footed, but Rajaram had a long stride. All the same, he made the mistake of running downhill. A long-legged person is much faster going uphill than down. Binia reached the edge of the forest glade in time to see the thief scrambling down the path to the stream. He had closed the umbrella so that it would not hinder his flight. Binia was beginning to gain on the boy. He kept to the path while she simply slid and leapt down the steep hillside. Near the bottom of the hill, the path began to straighten out and it was here that the long-legged boy began to forge ahead again. Biju was coming home from another direction. He had a bundle of sticks which he had collected for the kitchen fire. As he reached the path, he saw Binia rushing down the hill as though all the mountain spirits in Garhwal were after her. What's wrong? he called. Why are you running? Binia paused only to point at the fleeing Rajaram. My umbrella! she cried. He has stolen it! Biju dropped his bundle of sticks and ran after his sister. When he reached her side, he said, I'll soon catch him, and went springing away over the lush green grass. He was fresh, and he was soon well ahead of Binia and gaining on the thief. Rajaram was crossing the shallow stream when Biju caught up with him. Rajaram was the taller boy, but Biju was much stronger. He flung himself at the thief, caught him by the legs, and brought him down in the water. Rajaram got to his feet and tried to drag himself away, but Biju still had him by a leg. Rajaram overbalanced and came down with a great splash. He had let the umbrella fall. It began to float away on the current. Just then Binny arrived, flushed and breathless, and went dashing into the stream after the umbrella. Meanwhile, a tremendous fight was taking place. Locked in fierce combat, the two boys swayed together on a rock, tumbled onto the sand, rolled over and over the pebbled bank until they were again stretching about in the shallows of the stream. The magpies, bulbuls and other birds were disturbed and flew away with cries of alarm. Covered with mud, gasping and spluttering, the boys groped for each other in the water. After five minutes of frenzied struggle, Biju emerged victorious. Rajaram lay flat on his back on the sand, exhausted, while Biju sat astride him, pinning him down with his arms and legs. Let me get up, gasped Rajaram. Let me go. I don't want your useless umbrella. Then why did you take it? demanded Biju. Come on, tell me why. It was that skin flit Ram Bharosa, said Rajaram. He told me to get it for him. He said if I didn't fetch it, I'd lose my job.